Hi and welcome back to our chicken explainer series. It's a complex topic this time and one that I've had a lot of requests for. If there's a particular topic that you're interested in, let me know by commenting below and make sure that you tag Southeast Local Land Services in that comment. Now let's get stuck into mysterious Marix. Marix disease is a very common disease of poultry. It is an unusually complex disease involving a virus that causes cancer. Marix is common all over the world and probably every flock of chickens will be exposed at some point. Many species of poultry can get Marix disease, but by far it is most significant in chickens between 4 weeks and 18 months old. The most easy to recognise form of Marix is fowl paralysis. It starts as a stilted walk and worsens until the chicken has one leg stretched far forward and the other stretched back. Another very common form of Marix is when tumours develop in the internal organs. What you'll see will depend on how the chicken is affected by the tumours. There can be a sudden unexpected death or a slow decline where birds eat little or not at all and lose weight. They might have diarrhoea, they might have a pale comb. Marix can also cause blindness, skin tumours and floppy neck in young chicks. There is no treatment for Marix disease. Sadly, about 60% of birds that are infected will die, even though some may appear to recover initially. Marix infection also makes chickens more susceptible to other diseases. Chickens that don't die continue to spread the virus for the rest of their lives. Marix infects a chicken when it inhales the virus from feathers and skin cells that fall like dust from an infected bird and settle on feeders, drinkers, perches and the ground. This dust can travel in the air to a neighbour's chickens. The virus can survive months, if not years, in this dust. When Marix first infects, the virus begins to replicate. This process damages the immune system, which makes the chicken at risk for other diseases. Coccidiosis is one example. If the chicken survives the first stage, the virus goes dormant. It lays low, not causing any symptoms. The chicken is now called a carrier, not showing any signs of illness, but still spreading the virus. Then, weeks or even months later, something triggers the virus to reactivate. You've probably heard of something similar in people. People with the herpes simplex virus carry it for life and get a cold sore when they get stressed. Marix disease is actually in the same family as the cold sore virus. The trigger for reactivation of Marix is also thought to be stress. Stress for chickens can be things like coming into lay, travel, poor diet, parasites, predators, bullying or molting. The reactivation of the Marix transforms the chicken's immune cells into tumours called lymphomas. The tumours can develop anywhere in the body. Almost all birds that develop tumours will die. The ability of the chicken to fight off the virus depends on them having a strong immune system and this can come from their genetics, from immunity passed down from the mother hen and from vaccination. While there's no silver bullet for Marix disease, a combination of vaccine, breeding, biosecurity and hygiene will go a long way to limit its impact. Attempting to keep Marix out of the flock completely is nearly impossible in backyards, especially when neighbours have chickens and where chickens brought in can be carriers with no symptoms. Vaccinating your chickens at home is very technical, with the vaccine having very specific requirements, but backyard vaccination can be done. This is especially encouraged if you're breeding chickens to sell. Vaccines take a while to work, so for vaccination to be effective, baby chicks must be kept in a clean and sanitised artificial brooder from the time of hatching for about three weeks after the injection. Chickens raised away from hens may then need probiotic supplements for gut health as well. If you aren't hatching your own, try to buy chickens that are vaccinated. The ability to fight off the virus can be inherited by chicks from their parents. Breed only with survivors of Marix. Now you may not know if you have Marix, so wait until birds are over 18 months old before breeding with them. Remember, Marix affects chickens mostly between the ages of 4 weeks old and 18 months old. Regardless of the potential of a chicken to fight off the virus, if it's exposed too young before the immune system has fully developed, the disease will be severe. 
Good hygiene and husbandry are essential to reduce the risk to young chicks and to prevent other diseases or stresses to avoid triggering dormant marix into the tumour form. Marix disease is quite complicated and I've tried to give you an overview in this video. You might want to go back and watch through the video again and then if you have more questions contact your vet or your local land services district vet.